Warriors in the blender. Good defense out front by Miller. Takes it away from Crutcher and has a two-handed slam. Did I say that you got to get the ball stopped in transition? Basketball games, it's amazing. One night to the... For their first three as Minix barrels his way inside. Had it ripped away. Good defense by Brooks and it squirts out to Brockington and company. Motkovich ran the floor and got rewarded. That's the one thing that Birmingham squad squad we get an early timeout because they needed one is, and he will get after you. Hesitation there from Duke, drives, almost got caught in the air, redirected out to Minix who hits the three. Riley Minix, the rookie, has the first three point make for either team tonight. Austin's got seven of the first nine. Sam Rockington and company trying to change that. Trey Mitchell denied at the rim by Minsa. Minsa playing defense. Duke hits the three. Duke off the bounce, got bodied, scored in continuation. Count the bucket. The basket and at the very end right there, taking the ball to the home. Keon Brooks Jr. led this Pac-12 in scoring a year ago. Off to a good start scoring in the G League as well. Isaiah Miller straight away knocks that down, and that is a good sign for Austin if Miller can hit those. Minix another two-way guy between Austin and San Antonio. Keon Brooks up top, Motkovich throws it down. Freeze on one end, but Keon Brooks Jr. and Carlo Motkovich connecting. Minix got it to the rim, another extra opportunity perhaps for Austin until Ingram had it ripped away by Josh Oduro who just checked in. Robinson in transition again, finds Motkovich. Timeout Spurs. What great hands right there by Motkovich in Birmingham. He's out front with Galen Robinson. Brooks with a timer at five. One on one against Minix. Rises, hits again. Wow. Look here, and that's going to go as a two, it looks like, from Keon Brooks Jr. High screen and roll. Nice cut. Isaiah Brockington pinned at the window. Wow. What a defensive play by Osifo. Back the other way. Osifo ran the floor. He's rejected by Oduro. Back and forth we go. Robinson finds Anabogu, nice who ran the floor. And Robinson here going to try and see if the squadron get the last shot of the opening quarter. Robinson turns the corner, flips it up, no good, and a Bogu there sticks it back in. Third year pro from Iowa State has been in his bag to start this campaign. Crutcher steps through, nice cut. Galen Robinson missed at point blank range, and a Bogu scores plus one. Really coming in and getting on the offensive boards and running the floor in transition. A little bit of help before going baseline. Tried to put some English on that, but couldn't spin it home. Squadron have numbers here, three on two. Crutcher up top, Mark hammers. Oh, <laughs> has happened right there around the rim. Carlo Motkovich. David Duke out front, has a mismatch against Carlo Motkovich. Opted not to attack it. Shot clock running short now. Minix hangs and hits. Oh wow. my God. <laughs> Throw up a prayer and sometimes it gets answered in a positive way. And Duke leads the way with a dozen so far tonight for the Spurs. Brockington weaving, steps behind the line, hits his third three. Better get a hand up right there because he'll knock it down. Right on cue, Minix rings the bell, his third three-point make of the night. 52-51, Spurs in front of the squadron so far here at Legacy Arena. 13 for Isaiah Brockington tonight, who came in averaging 23 a game through the first four. Nice mid-range J there from David Duke Jr. Awesome to see G-Leaguers do good on and off the floor. Crutcher inside, had that pinned. Miller got a piece of the layup and he's off and running. Duke made the extra pass. Ingram's three is true. Timeout squadron, the Spurs back in front double digits. And Gatorade call up. History of the Birmingham squadron. Jalen Crutcher got a call up late last year. He's into the paint and scores. And that's what Jalen Crutcher's gonna have to do. Spurs lead is nine. Brockington turned the corner and got it to go over the top of Mensa. Here's Brockington actually coast to cut. Jalen Crutcher has to hurry. Crutcher in the paint, gets it to go. Pretty left-handed finish from Jalen Crutcher to end quarter number three. 
answer when we come back to Legacy Arena. Matkovic. And that's a good place to have the basketball right there. Spins into the double, squadron ball movement, superb. Crutcher pays it off. Isn't it amazing when you get a couple of get the ball inside. Harrison Ingram spins and kicks. David Duke wants to try again, hits again. David Duke Jr., just his second three-point make of the night, but he's got 21. By the way, the squadron with two timeouts left and one coach's challenge if they want it. A turnover out front. Nelson got in the passing lane and finished. It's it right back to him. Brooks got the switch working against Ingram. Brooks Boy. into the paint. Nice finish. That's a big time play. Shot clock didn't reset. That never got to the rim. Timer's at four. Ingram in the deep corner. Wow. Yes. Played four seasons in NAIA basketball at Southeastern before getting to Moorhead State. Bursting onto the scene. Miller, look out! A two-handed throwdown in transition. But, and here comes Miller. We talked about him before the game and about being a squander. Need a bucket and quickly. Brooks, pretty spin, got him into the paint and a finish. And that powered them to a 104-91 victory tonight here in Birmingham. Well, there's sometimes there's certain teams that you match up.